Good morning, you guys. So it is Friday. So it's way in Friday or back to Friday again. Um, this week was an interesting one. Sorry, I am clearly driving on my way to work. That's why my face looks very red from the taillights in front of me because I'm stuck in traffic. Um, and there's people. I okay. I'm not even gonna get onto a tangent with this. It's just annoying. And if you see like. <clears throat> I don't want to shut this because it's going to make it back in here. Maybe not. Um, there's, it's raining really hard. Actually, not really hard anymore, but it's been raining like nonstop for the last two days. Um, which doesn't help that it's kind of dark in here. Um, so let me start with last week I was down nine pounds. And I was feeling like on top of the world. I was so excited. And I told you guys I had a goal to lose another five pounds. And unfortunately, I did not. Um, I actually didn't lose anything this week. I maintained. And the reason I maintained is because we had a lot of things going on over the weekend. And I really didn't splurge that much. What's going on here? Um... Like, in hindsight, yeah, I kind of had, like, bad things along the way. But it could have been so much worse. So, Friday night, I did amazing. I stuck to the diet 100% all day on Friday. Um, I don't remember what I made for dinner, but I made maybe taco salad for dinner. Um, I honestly can't remember. But I, you know, like we stuck to it, we were good. Well then Saturday rolled around and again, all day Saturday up until the evening and really even, like through like late evening, I did really good. We ended up going to a friend's house for a party and <clears throat> we, the way that they do it and we won't go into this, but the way that they do it is that you bring pretty much your own food to cook at their house. So, Matt and I were very smart about what we packed. We went and picked up actually a veggie tray and we shared it with obviously everybody. Um, but that was things that we could have. And we also had, um, I had, went to the butcher or to the del like the meat counter of a small like little grocery store um, and picked up burger patties. Um, and so we just had those with cheese and mustard on them and that was what we had for dinner um and as far as drinks go yes I did have some alcohol but I was drinking sparkling water and vodka which is zero calories I'm sorry zero carbs so um like I, I did really really well through that whole thing but we ended up going to the cider mill and I had one cider mill donut that is it I didn't engorge myself I had one cider mill donut um and then that night, this is where it kind of gets bad, is we, it was late, Matt was our DD, and so I was feeling pretty good, and I was starving, um, and we, were, we weren't going home, we were staying at Matt's parents' house, so it wasn't like, I didn't have prepared snacks and things, so we went through McDonald's, and I had nuggets, and some fries. I didn't eat very many fries. And then the next morning we went for breakfast and I had a few hash browns and like a, a half of a slice of toast with my breakfast. So we definitely didn't stick to the diet at all last weekend. And because of that, when I stepped on the scale on Monday, I was up like three and a half, almost four pounds. It took me all week, you guys, all week until this morning to lose that again, to get back to where I was. So I just felt like I was like fighting this battle all week. I was irritated with myself and it wasn't worth it to eat those things. The only thing that we had that was worth it was a cider mill donut. And that's what I told Matt, like that will be my splurge thing through the fall because you only get them one time a year and they're the most amazing thing in the entire world. That's probably my one of my absolute favorite foods. So, I'm bummed because I feel like I could have been down like four pounds um, 
for the week and I would have had a grand total of 13 pounds down, but I was losing weight that I had already lost. So I'm bummed. I'm disappointed. I told Matt we're not, we're not doing that this weekend. If we want to have like, if I want to have one thing, um, you know, that's, that's it. I'm not having like something every day. So there's my way in for the, for the week. Um, I maintained, which is a bummer. I'm glad that, you know, I was able to lose that weight that I had put back on in a matter of three days and I was able to take it back off in, you know, four days essentially. But it just stinks, you know. It's those dumb things that you do. And like I, I you know, I hear it all the time. It's nothing tastes as good as skinny feels. And I kind of felt that. I felt that this week. Like, I was feeling so good that I had lost nine pounds in a week. And then here I am tr struggling again. And the scale is <laughs> not moving. And it's just, it stinks. It's not, it's not something that I want to do again. Obviously, there's going to be circumstances that come up in life where you're kind of out of control. Um, we're going to a wedding, not this weekend, not tomorrow but the following Saturday and it's I'm assuming it's either it's either family style or buffet style because we didn't fill out a menu card um, so I'm gonna try my best and pick and choose things that you know are better for me um, it's difficult drinking out because I'm a vodka drinker and the only thing that I can mix I could do vodka and water I guess that's just not really my my thing um, I like the sparkle, like the carbonation, and tonic is not, it's full of carbs, which I wasn't aware that vodka was full of carbs. I'm sorry, that tonic was full of carbs. Um, and I don't like soda water, and that's what they say to substitute it with. So, we'll see. I mean, I'm not going to not live my life because of a diet, but I'm also not going to maintain a diet to live my life kind of thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you all had a better week than I did. Um, I'm not, I'm not gonna dwell on it. Um, today starts a new week, so I'm going to push forward. Um, I'm not gonna verbally say what my goals are for this week because I feel like it just like it stinks to have to come back and be like, yeah. Um, but I do. I have a smaller goal. It's definitely not the five pounds that I had for last week. Um, what the heck, I'm, I'm looking to lose probably, I would like to lose another three pounds this week. Um, I kind of mapped it out and from the start, so I kind of have a little bit of a buffer since I did lo lose those nine pounds in one week. Um, I have a little bit of a buffer for it, but in order for me to be like where I want to be at New Year's, which was down 50 pounds, I'd have to lose just right around three pounds a week and so that's, that's kind of my goal and I know there's gonna be some weeks I lose more some weeks I lose less I'm not gonna beat myself up over it but that's kind of like that goal I have and that's what's keeping me motivated I did put on the blue dress again this morning I didn't do any like video footage of it but I took pictures um, so I will try and edit those in please excuse my bedroom it is Friday which is the day that I start bedroom laundry the bed was so <laughs> completely unmade I had laundry all over the floor I'm gonna try and crop some of that out um, but you know what it's real life and at 6 six thirty in the morning that's what you're gonna get um, so I hope you guys are having had a great week and are having a great weekend or gonna have a great weekend um, you know make this upcoming week the best one yet um, I need to I need to focus on that so I will see you all very soon. Bye guys.